Alright, just a real quick video. Show my latest two new toys we got. Um, because I didn't do a video of either one of them. But we actually got some range footage up on one of them. But I'll show you what we got. This is our newest, uh, or second newest gun we got. This is a Remington 870 Marine Magnum shotgun. Uh, it's really nice. I don't, I didn't bring the key, so I can't take the trigger lock off. It's upstairs, uh, so I can't really cock it for you. But it's really nice. Uh, nickel plated, I believe it is. Corrosion resistant. Really sweet. It's got a nice rubber stock. Oh, I'm sorry, rubber piece on the back of the stock, or back of the butt rather, to get you a good cushion uh, when you're firing it. It kicks hard. I mean, I'm not a shotgun guy. Uh, this is the only one that I own. It's the first one, the only one that we've owned. Um, and frankly, to be honest with you, it's only the second one that I fired. Um, but it kicks really hard. It kicks harder than I would have thought uh, for 12 gauge. I've shot a 12 gauge before and it didn't seem to kick as hard as this, so I don't know what the deal is with that. But it's nice. And, and this, this nice piece of rubber on the back of it helps with the kick. But, you know, I mean, it's not punishing, but it's just a little bit harder than I thought it would have been. Uh, this is an 18 inch barrel. Uh, very nice. It's fun. It's maneuverable. Um, it's something you can use. Obviously, it's pretty good for home defense. You can move around your house with it. It's very mobile. Um, you can get around corners with it because of the barrel size. Like I said, it's only an 18 inch barrel. So you can get around corners and maneuver it around your house. Very nice. Uh, we enjoy it. I only shot it one time, but it's really fun. Um, pretty standard operation on it. You got a, a forehand release that's right by, right outside the trigger guard. Um, you know, like I said, I got this thing on here so you can't see it. Uh, but you know, it's right there. It's pretty standard. Safety is right there on the back of the trigger guard as well. Uh, the only things I would say about it is it, it's a just for anybody that's interested, it's a really sweet, sweet shotgun. Comes with the sling. Um, the only thing I'll say is it's, it, it shoots two and three quarters and three inch, three inch magnum shell. So if you in the market for something that's going to shoot a super magnum, you don't want this because it's not going to do it. Um, and then the only other thing is a cylinder choke, and it's not you can't modify it. I mean, there's no, there are no you can't change the barrel room, is my understanding. You know, no other choke tubes or anything where you're going to be able to do something different with it. So if you're looking for something uh, that you can have various chokes on, this isn't the one for you. Um, but it's a very nice shot. I enjoy it. And you would too, probably. I don't do a lot of hunting. For, I don't do any hunting with shotguns. Um, but I don't see why you couldn't hunt, you know, maybe duck or whatever, you, birds or whatever you do with shotguns. Like I said, I'm not into shotgun hunting. But I don't see why you wouldn't be able to do it with, with that shotgun. Then the other thing we just got, that we got, the shotgun we got probably uh, six weeks ago maybe. The other thing we got, and I've got a video already at the range of this, is the AR-15. This is uh, this is the newest of this. We just got this like two weeks ago. This is sweet. This is a Rock River Arms AR-15. Um, I mean, I can't I tell you, we, like I said, we just got it. We took it to the range this week. Um, this is sweet. It's nice. Uh, collapsible butt stock on it. Um, we've changed. Uh, hand me, PJ, hand me those. Look right over there. Go over to that little shelf. Hey, you did? No. Right underneath it, those hand guards. Yeah, there you go. The two or just one? Both of them. It comes with these hand guards on it, um, which are, you know, just decent kind of standard hand guards. They're nice. They have heat shields in them. Um, you know, they're pretty good. We obviously immediately replaced them. The same time we bought the gun, we bought uh, a Midwest quad rail. The rail is outstanding. I mean, Midwest makes good products. The one we got doesn't have a heat shield, uh, so it does heat up on you. Um, it's got good ventilation on it, but, you know, it heats up on you. Uh, we're going to get a vertical grip too and put on it in you know, the next week or so. Uh, but right now we don't have one, obviously. But, you know, it's 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 nice. The quad rail is nice. Um, and we put, the only other thing, we put an EOTech holographic sight on it. The sight is 
it's incredible. I mean, it's you know, if you if you use these holographic sights, uh, we took it out to the range. This is the first time I've used one, um, and it's it's incredible. It's just the, the the you know shooting with two eyes open is something else, and and being able to see completely everything that you're looking at, have a full field of view, uh, is just something else while you're shooting your gun. I mean, that's that's I like it. I love it. And the accuracy is incredible. If you if you think it in terms of doing something, uh, you know, pretty short range, close combat type things, uh, engaging targets at, at relatively close range, I would say, you know, 50, 100 yards tops. Um, I think those sights are just incredible. I mean, they they're ideal, uh, you know. And you can do it with two eyes. You can track targets that are moving. Uh, you can do all kinds of incredible things with them that you just can't do with your typical uh, more standard scope where you got to line up and, and you know really get close to it and you got one eye and you're closing off your full field of view but this thing is something else man it's got a fixed front sight as you see comes with iron sight um, it has a, a flip up rear sight so if you and, and, and when you use the holographic sight on this if you don't want to use the holographic sight you don't have to remove it. You can use the fixed sights. You can use the iron sights. You just flip up the rear, and you can sight right through the glass on the holographic sight. You don't lose anything. I mean, it's perfect. It doesn't interfere. Uh, it doesn't change the point of view. It doesn't affect at all your ability to line up the rear and the front sights. Uh, it's perfect. And then if you don't want to use your iron sights, if you just want to go holographic, you just close that, that rear one, and you're just looking through. You will, you will see, obviously, the front iron sight as you sight through the holographic sight but when you got your sight reticle from the holographic sight you you can ignore the front one I mean it won't give you any problems you just line up that that reticle that laser reticle and, and you're good to go um, other than that you know it's an AR-15 everything is standard uh, that you expect off an of AR-15 um, the thing is is just it's nice but that's the newest two toys this isn't any kind of review or anything I was just Sharing the two new toys that we got uh, for anybody that watches the videos we put out. Um, these are nice. Check out the range video. I think it's fun.